Okay, what are you saying people and welcome back to the channel. So today guys, like always, got another weekly analysis for you. So on the screen are the pairs we'll be looking at today, but make sure you stay to the end of the video because I will be going into depth analysis about each trading pair, what's happened during this week, and potentially what could be happening during next week as well. So I hope you do enjoy the video, but with all that said guys, let's get straight into it. Okay, so up first, like always, we've got Euro USD. So for this pair, guys, we did see not too much throughout most of the week until coming to the end of the week. And a bit of news uh, and price did see some upside. Again, we were having that sell bias overall. The market is still quite bearish. But as you can see, if I just draw a box around price action here, we pretty much consolidated for most of the week. Maybe some intraday sells down the lower time frames, But overall, kind of just sideways, we had a bit of a pop to the upside. But overall, we still do have that bearish bias for Euro USD. You can see with the higher time frame, momentum is still with the bears so for your use the uh, this week we were looking for a pullback back into this area here again price support here support there as well nice double bottom it was that crazy move to the upside and if I take this across, you can see now it's acting as resistance. So just simply daily support taken across that as daily resistance there. You can already see we're putting in some uh, wick rejections down the daily. So if we can stay below this area, I can see price um, pushing to the downside again for your USD back down to these lows here. Uh, and potentially if you can break through these lows, push down into 1.15 next psychological level um, beneath those lows there as well. So uh, primarily looking for sales for Euro USD, which go back to the daily for a second, because if we do actually break through this resistance here next week, buyers can be taken back into this area because we do have some support uh, which will be term resistance which we haven't retested yet as well so i can still see price potentially coming back down to coming back up sorry to retest that area but if it doesn't we're likely just to fall over to the downside again so Euro USD next week. The plan for this pair is to see how price is reacting here come Monday, see what's happening over the Asian session coming into the London session. Are we still holding um, beneath that level? If we are, look for our confirmations and we'll look for sales back down into these lows. And if we look for new lows, can put uh, can look for on the 1.15 mark. We also got this trend line here. Uh, if I connect these lows up here, you can see one second, third test. Look, the fourth kind of lines up really nicely around that 1.15 area. So extra confluence, we can be looking for sales down into those lows. So primarily looking for those sales, but like I said, um, those buys will look good too. Again, we can't predict what's going to happen here for EURUSD. If it does decide to break to the upside, we'll still look to capitalize on that opportunity. Look for buys on the retest of this level here, of course, not on the breaks. We can still get um, false breaks in the market. So we'll look for the retest there and look for a push into this level here around the 1.16 700 mark again as you can see price support there support there which has not been retested so potentially your usd might want to go and retest that this week we'll find out if we do get that break if not we're looking for sales back down into the daily lows and potentially from the 1.15 mark as well Okay, so on next, we've got USD JPY. So as you can see for this pair, it's very, very, very bullish this week, flying up to the upside. Did have a bearish bias coming into this week. Uh, I did understand that momentum is to the upside. It's with the bulls, but we'll come into a really nice area, which I did expect to see price take a little bit of a breather. As you can see, we've got this ascending channel here, looking for that third test. As you can see, we broke through quite easily. Didn't really give us any confirmation looking for sales anyway, um, but I was looking for a bit of a pullback there. We didn't get that price broke through and it also broke through its weekly resistance as well which as you can see here really strong weekly resistance here strong reaction to the downsides broke through that level as well so we're now coming into this second key level of resistance of the weekly time frame again the reason why i'm using the weekly time frame here is because on the daily there's no real level to look at jumping back to the weekly it starts to become a lot clearer when we can pinpoint our level so that's why i'm using the weekly time frame to work out the levels here but as you can see we're looking very very bullish on the weekly as well so it's coming to another key level of weekly resistance but do mind guys this is very very strong bullish momentum and it could break through this just like it did to that level as well so make sure if you are getting to sales make sure you're looking after your positions not over trading also make Make sure that you probably don't you know be over overly confident or have too 
um, too aggressive targets because at this rate price might not actually hit those targets it could look bearish for a little bit then turn bullish again quite quickly so dropping down to the lower time frames we're coming to this level here still looking bullish but maybe if we can wait for price action to turn bearish give us some nice signals here i'll probably wait for extra confirmation here i wouldn't just look for one candle or anything like that wait for really structured to turn bearish so if you can get maybe a pullback price pulls up really strong double top pattern there probably wait even wait for the break of the neckline to get short there that'll probably be a much better probable trade because price could still push on like i said momentum is definitely with the balls but looking for essentially sales in this area it's definitely not ready yet so we'll be looking for sales coming monday tuesday wednesday wherever, whenever we do get anything probably looking to target at first this support here then looking for that retest of that trend line or kind of the the resistance that that price broke last week so uh, looking for shorts down to this 113 200 area then potentially around the 112 500 area into that trend line or that support whichever price starts to hold so looking for shorts from this area as long as we can stay below kind of 114 400 it's all right if you wick above that or have some fake outs as long as we can stay above there um we will look for those sells and to the downside back down to that time target and our second target down there as well. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to USD CAD. So for this pair, as you can see, still looking very, very bearish here. It looks like it is starting to collapse here to the downside of potentially. It could be on its way back down to these lows here in the near future. So something to bear in mind there for USD CAD. So coming into this week, we had uh, kind of a mixed buyers for USD CAD. We were looking at this level here for some potential buyers up and for price to come retrace back down again. However, as you can see, we didn't see much retracement there. Coming onto the lower time frames, as you can see, if we go hourly, a little bit more clearer. Price did consolidate for us for a large amount of the week there. Uh, didn't really give us any clear price action until it broke through. Again, we did have some news later on in the week and price kind of used that momentum to continue to the downside. So didn't really give us much opportunity to buy, but um, UCD CAD is still looking very, very weak coming into this week here. So UCD CAD here is broken through that key level there, looking at a push down into this level now for this week. I did say last week that if we do break through this, price will most likely head back down to 1.23 the next psychological level and come and test this support now i think if we can break through this we might be heading back down to the lows or at least come and test this area here 1.21500 uh, so looking for sales for usd cow it would be great to see if you can see a push into this area here some retracement come and retest this as resistance hasn't retested it yet then we'll look for sales back down into that next level and if we can break through this again probably see it move back down into that level down there but i'm not too sure if we will see that the past few days now used to kind of really seen a lot of downside momentum i am expecting to see some type of retracement now something like that to come in the next few days so i don't think uh if it does break through this it'll reach that it might stall around there and see a push to the upside so for that reason we'll be looking for buys around here as well to take this back to the upside simply just to take advantage of that retracement again wait for those confirmations we're trading against the momentum of the market the much better opportunity we will be waiting for sales waiting for price to push up and then sell it back down again but if we do get some good entries around here there's nothing wrong taking some buys there and look to swing that trade back up into that resistance there so looking for two opportunities this week retrace into that and sells back down into those lows there which is my preferred opportunity because we are with the momentum of the market and simply the probability of this trade playing out is is higher than taking the buys but if we do get something here that's really good we'll look to take some buys back to the upside again simply because price does need to retrace now and we're looking for a push into that level there so whichever kind of comes first whichever looks good look to take that trade they're just playing that range from that resistance of 1.24 300 400 back down into 1.23 or 1.23 back up into those levels up there Sorry to interrupt the video guys, but if you are enjoying the content and you find it useful, make sure you go hit the subscribe button down below and also make sure you drop a like as well. It really does help the channel out. But anyway, back to the video. And so next up, we've got Euro Pound. So for this pair looking very bearish here again, which was our buyers coming into this week. We were looking for those sales, expecting a push back down to these lows. 
and potentially further and as you can see prices are doing that as well so we had that bearish bias we knew from a weekly point of view price had a nice wick um, a couple of weeks ago you know grabbing liquidity came back down close bearish and then we had that confirmation last week now we've just seen that momentum continue uh, this week here to the downside so overall the market is still bearish from a daily weekly and slightly even from a monthly point of view as well momentum is definitely with the bear so not interested in buys for euro pound i mean you can take buys but uh, momentum is definitely against you and if you are taking buys probably with donor be in that trade for more than a few hours or you know max at max a day because you know price is definitely bearish and you're trading against um trading against the flow of the market the only way buyers could start to look good is if we can get back above this area back above that support hold that support and then look for buys from that that potentially could be a good buy we could maybe look at retesting this resistance here again um to come back down to that potentially could be a good buy but as long as price is below this i'll probably just ignore buys altogether so looking for pushing to that next psychological level of 0.84 down there still a little bit of pips we can look to catch hopefully we can get some retracement for euro pound back into this level here look for some you know confirmations double top you know wherever you look for and we'll look for sales back down into that area so that's primary uh, that's the that's the primary setup i'm looking for for next week uh, probably the most high probability as well but if you do get above that then yes buyers potentially could look good and could probably look to trade that back into around the 0 0.85 200 mark but that's probably an opportunity i'll probably leave alone unless it starts to look good at that support um because i still do think it's coming down especially from what the higher time frames are telling us so euro pound primarily looking for sales next week if we get above that yes support um, it will it will look good if we can get a good price action back up to 0.85 200 but if we can hold that resistance sales will be looking good back down to that 0.84 area okay so now we're going to move on to adusd so for this pair looking quite bullish this week again i did say if we do break through this area here of support which which was term resistance buyers will be looking good or if we held that sales will be looking good and as you can see prices broke above that and then we had some news there as well came back to retest it and the continuation to the upside so prices looking bullish here the target was for this push here was back up to 0.74 you can see it's reached that it's kind of just stuck at this resistance a little bit but overall it's still looking bullish here so it depends what adusd wants to do next week if it does break back underneath this level we could probably see that range getting filled like it did over here just consolidate between those two levels 0 0.73 200 and 0 0.74 um, we could see that move back down if it doesn't and starts to stay above this then we'll probably continue and take out these highs over there on the left so simply just looking to trade this level here next week seeing what price gives us again um, it's important to be reactive here don't try and you know predict the market just see what price action is giving us if we can maintain support here and really see price reject that coming into money Monday so far it is so in Monday or maybe Tuesday if we can hold this support we'll look for buyers to take it back into let me just draw that bit more accurately so you can see what kind of area we're targeting to take out this wick here potentially see some new highs because go back in the daily uh, second it looks like potentially we're putting in a new higher low here you can see a push higher high potentially a higher low and we could be looking at another higher high so we could be looking at potentially a trend reversal there for AU on the higher time frame so buys will be looking good if we can stay above this as support and we'll look to put in some buys back up into that kind of wick area which is around 0.74700 uh, but we'll potentially you know look past that maybe 0.75 up there if not and we fail and start breaking underneath, underneath that hold that as resistance sales will be looking good change the bias look to put some sales in and a push to the downside just to play that range back down into 0.73 uh 300 200 basically just in line with this support here so sales and buys do look good depends what the market wants to do it's kind of just trading along the area so not too sure yet which potentially trade we could be looking to take so far it's above the level so buys potentially but you know anything can happen and we can change quite quickly so and we are putting some wicks there which i'm not too much of a fan of so that means we might break underneath but we'll find out next week you know early on to see what price is doing with that level if we're staying below it will we look for those sales to fill that range back down to 0.73 300 all buys looking for that breakout of those highs at 0.74 potentially at the target 0.75 nice psychological level above those highs up there 
Okay, so next up we've got NZD CAD. So for this pair, we were looking for buys. Um, the momentum for this pair is definitely to the downside. So overall, still bearish pair, but we were coming to a very key level that we were interested in, which is this level of support around the 0 0.6, uh, 0 0.86, 500 area. So I did say look for buys around here because there could be a nice push to the upside for two main reasons. One being that the market has really had uh, a big collapse to the downside and is due some retracement. You can see similar to here big collapse to the downside retracement big collapse to the downside retracement so a due retracement and we came to a really key level where you'd expect to see the market take a bounce from so we did see some nice upside there uh, for NZD CAD in the week a bit of consolidation and we broke to the upside so coming into this week we will be looking for sales to set it back down because we do understand that the main momentum in this market is the downside we are bouncing from a strong level so we could still see more upside but the price will probably if it does follow the momentum come back down again so there will be some nice sales coming into next week so there's two main areas what i'm looking at this area of daily resistance here to see if we push into that or sell off or kind of this area here of supply where price consolidated uh, and then had a quite nice move to the downside so either which way you're looking to sell the market back down back into that support so even from this area here which price has had a slight reaction from that bearish candle not much not enough for me to get triggered into a trade but it is a sign of rejection so we'll be looking on monday tuesday if price can revisit this so some more rejection could be looking for sales to take this right back down into to those lows there for next week um, or if we don't and we start breaking through this level uh, coming Monday and we, you know, we look bullish we'll be looking around here this daily level prior resistance here if we go back to daily you know one two three even if I can take that across actually you can see resistance there as well resistance there as well a little bit so it's a really nice area a little bit of a range between this support and that resistance actually to be fair so we might even see that um, that break to the upside into that level so even if that does happen, the risk reward will be much, much better because we'll be selling from a higher price and looking for the same target. So whichever you know, whichever level price starts respect, show rejection, you get your confirmations at, we'll be looking for sales mainly for Entity CAD. Maybe if you re revisit this support quite quickly, maybe maybe it'll buy it back up, but mainly focused on those sales from uh, around the 0.87588 area, which is this resistance, or 0.88400 which is this resistance up here and all sells back down into these prior weekly lows and the 0 0.86 300 mark and next up we've got pound nzd so pound nzd we did see a nice shift of momentum to the bears this week a really nice collapse in price again coming into this week we did have that sell bias looking to take advantage of this support now time resistance and looking to take advantage of those sales so we did know this is the impulse here this is clearly retraced by how price is moving so we're just looking for that level where price will hold and eventually see that shift of momentum as you can see here up around that 1.97 mark and we're looking quite bare so i'm expecting pound nzd to continue to the downside if you can take a look at pound the AUD pound AUD is falling quite uh, aggressively to the downside and I do expect pound NZD to follow that I'm expecting these lows here to be taken out for pound NZD and eventually price reach these lows back down here I don't expect price to do that within one week maybe if we carry on that momentum we could do um, but looking for sales into these areas for next week so we'll be looking for a bit of retracement we've got this nice area here of support resistance so clearly resistance there support really had a nice reaction so hopefully we can come back revisit that area look for sales into this area then if we get the break like i said continuation into the 1.92 area so more downside for pound nsd i know this is support but not really interested in buys for me the momentum is down and i do expect further continuation and some new lows for pound NZD. So hopefully we can get some trades, like I said, back up to 1.95, but targets for this week will be 1.93500. And if we can get a break below that, 1.92 down there. So more sales for pound NZD coming into next week. Okay, so next up we've got CAD JPY. So CAD JPY, as you can see, continuous momentum to the upside here. This pair is very, very bullish. In fact, pretty much all the JPY pairs were all storming off to the upside here. We were looking at sales from this area here, really nice double top, just taking that across, see if we can get some reaction from there. But as you can see, we just broke through that, uh, like no tomorrow there. So we didn't get any confirmations anyway for any sales in price, it even broke through these highs all the way up here as well. I did say if price does break through this, is most likely going to head to highs and maybe spike through them as well but as you can see it's really continued to the upside so i do think we're due a breather hit now for cad jpy because you can see for this you know massive move to the upside we've had 
if I measure from the start to where it is now, it's spiked into it's spiked into around what was that? Yeah, 700 pips, almost 800 pip move in a matter of a, a few days. So we do need to see a pullback eventually. Again, not expecting anything major. We know it could come 50% of the way. I'm not too sure if it will because momentum on the higher time frames. If we go to the weekly, you know, momentum is definitely to the upside there. So we could still push on and really continue. Um, we don't really need to see a, a crazy pullback um, because momentum on the higher time frames, monthly, weekly, daily, is all bullish. So. Uh, coming into this week, we'll look for some, we'll look for some sales for for Kajay, why? Just because it's so bullish, and we do need to see that retracement eventually. We do have this nice psychological level of ninety three that potentially price could come into it and react from. You know, um, some of the people with the big real money in the markets will be looking to take profit now since we pass through those highs come into the next psychological mark past 92 as well profit will start to get taken and we will start to see a bit of a dip soon uh, it might be a 94 but we'll be looking for sales around here and a push back down into this level come now respect that as support so looking for sales back down into this area potentially could actually look for buyers to take it back up again not too sure if i would take those buys it have to be a lot of rejection for me just because price is a little bit imbalanced it might spike through again um, but the real move I will be looking for is some sales back down to come and test this 91 mark. We test that resistance now as support. So we'll be looking around the psychological level of 93. Again, there's no real level to look at here on the daily. On the weekly, if I zoom out, you know, there's a little bit of a level here where price consolidated for a little bit and then shot to the downside. But the next major level kind of is around that area there. So, um, no real level to work with, so I'm just focusing on that psychological level so you can get a nice shift of momentum and we'll be looking for sales back down uh, into that area. So KJBY, not my favorite pair coming into next week, but if there is a nice opportunity around here, hopefully we can see some resistance forming and look to take that back down into 91 for next week. Okay, so next up we've got pound USD. So for this pair, a bit of a move to the upside this week. I was actually bearish here on pound USD, looking for a move to the downside. Again, we had this really nice support, 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 time resistance. So just a simple break and retest, looking to see if price can have that move to the downside. We're getting all those wick rejections. So I was looking for price to roll over. As you can see, we had some news. Price was um, turning bullish, USD was bearish, and price shot to the upside. And I did say last week, if we do break through this zone, We'll probably just fill this gap to the upside into that resistance so those buys were potentially on the table i didn't get any chance to look for the buys because it didn't retrace enough for me uh, after that news just kept going to the upside so i didn't really get an entry there but price is looking quite bullish coming into uh this week so for pound usd uh, i do expect to see a bit of retracement back to the downside we are coming into this trend line here which prices pull back a little bit, as you can see there with that wick. And we also do have this area here of resistance with that wick. So I'm expecting price to see some resistance there and fall down to come back and test that support. Uh, again, that support since it didn't really come back, back down to retest it last week, I think it'll probably come back and retest this area this week. Then either two things will happen, it will break back below and we just see a continuation and price will just give us another lower high and we just see that bearish trend continue or price will start holding at the support and potentially look for that break of that trend line and potentially a reversal so uh, coming into next week for pound usd we'll be looking at you know sales originally from here price is still quite bullish so definitely wait for price to develop wait for some confirmations and we can look to sell this back down into that same support that's holding on the daily um, and again if we get that break you know we could look to really push this one to the downside again don't have the target all the way down there of course uh, we might not even get there by the end of the week if price does break through that level but you know a push down to 1.36 area and then if we do break through that like i said 1.34 down there if not and we start rejecting it start holding a support the buyers will be looking good again but to buy it into that trend line and then if we can can get a break of that trend line probably look at some new highs maybe come back into 1.38 up here maybe 1.39 as well so like i said potential reversal could be on the card but sales from here potentially buyers from there again if not break we do expect to see some new lows there for pound usd so we'll find out what happens here if we do start actually breaking through this probably wait for price to come back retest this as support and then look for continuations but uh, I'm more interested in the sales to begin with and then potentially buys on later or if not we'll look for 1.34 down there for next week for pound USD. 
And next we're gonna move on to pound CAD. So pound CAD this week, not really much from this pair, as you can see, you can draw a box around the price action there, not, not real much direction. I mean, the overall direction is firmly to the downside, you can see by that momentum, but this week we kind of had a consolidation, similar to when we were consolidated there. So I do still expect to see pound CAD, you know, continue moving to the downside. We do have this support, which I was talking about last week, really nice area support, which price held for quite some time before giving us this quite a big move to the upside there and now it's holding below that area so i do expect now this area here around the 1.0500 area to act as resistance and send us to the downside to come and test uh these lows oh that's the wrong tool uh come and test these lows all the way down here and potentially even some new lows as well because coming onto the weekly time frame momentum is definitely with the bear so you can see it looks like we just put in a major lower high there so i'm expecting eventually a reversal in price to really start pushing to the downside again that's more long term but you know factoring in that to our trading we know that you know we are trading on the right side of the market uh, looking for those sells and we still haven't tested these lows or spiked through them so next week there's a good chance we'll probably spike through those lows probably push down into 1.68 so already really nice reaction there um really nice reaction there on friday just before the candle closed uh, the weekly candle close so looking for a bit of retracement see if we can confirm that as resistance maybe a double top or a lower high and we'll look for sales right back down into these lows and then these lows and maybe even spike through to 1.68 down there so not interested in buyers really at all really momentum is with the bears structures with the bears high time frames with the bears as well so just looking to be a part of that trade it into those prior uh, daily and weekly lows and see if we get pushed into 1.68 down there as well Okay, so up next we've got pound JPY. So this pair, again, another JPY pair has been flying off to the upside. So we've really seen a lot of JPY weakness um, in the past few days here. Again, another crazy move to the upside. We broke through this trend line. And ever since then, price has not looked back and just kept going. So we've set some new highs past this point here. Price is looking very, very bullish here. I do think similar to CAD JPY, again, no real level. If we look to our left here, go to the weekly time frame. You know, this is the real level we were focusing on. Uh, for the past few weeks now and it looks like price is wanting to break through that again something the the most obvious break we can still break back in quite easily hence um coming into um pound j for next week we'll be looking for sales um but yeah it looks like potentially price might want to break through this level and the next you know real level from there you know i can see on the left is all the way up here on the 162 area which is quite a way away from where we are so we're gonna to have to be on a bit of a blind side use those psychological levels which do work well um especially when you partner with price action but yeah pound jpy is looking very very bullish here so we'll be looking for around the 158 area uh we're kind of trading around the 157 right now which price is holding but with that momentum we might push into 158 up there so one of these two levels we'll be looking for sales back down into this same area of support now turned resistance well resistance turned support actually uh here for pound jpy and in fact that weak level could still act as resistance as well so looking for a move to the downside again momentum is with the balls here so be careful maybe you know don't be so aggressive with your your take profit or wait for extra confirmation and entries because price could look bearish for a second and then quickly turn bullish especially with that type of momentum but price you know hasn't seen a bearish day since then so it does need to see a bit of a pullback so hopefully we could look to get that coming in to the week um in coming into next week so we'll be looking for sales around this 157 area already seen a bearish candle there but I'll probably need a little bit more than that at least something like a double top we'll be looking for sales back into that zone and if not and it pushes up to 158 that's still cool because we get a better risk reward that way again wait for price action to give us those confirmations and a push down into that prior resistance now turn support so mainly looking for sales next week for pound jpy back down it into one by 155 um actually around the 156 area actually so more sales from either 157 or 158 back down to 156 for next week okay so now i'm going to take a look at gold so gold this week bit of a crazy pair um mostly consolidation for the past few days and now as you can see exploded to the upside and now it's come straight back down so gold definitely a funny pair was expecting price to roll over back down to these lows last week especially with that nice wick to the upside price came right back down as you can see it wanted to find support 
held that support there, big move to the upside again, news did play a factor of that. Um, and yeah, prices straight back down. So gold has definitely been a funny pair to trade. I haven't traded it this week, didn't really get any good confirmation for sales. And then the news hit, and I just let uh, I just let price alone. And as you can see, it's right back down there. So overall, gold um, still a bit of a choppy pair, but it is respecting this area here of support resistance. So obviously resistance here, resistance there, support there, support there as well. Bit of a force break above that area. If it does hold back above this area, then we might just feel this range come and test that resistance back up there again. But so far it's still holding below this. And we also do have this um, trend line here acting as resistance. So it could see a move to the downside there, back down to those lows and probably hit those prior support down here, which we are looking for price to get to and potentially even down to these lows here where that wick is. So uh, if pound J, not pound JP, but if gold can stay below this trend line, stay below that resistance, which does look likely, especially with that bearish candle, you know, we'll be looking for sales and eventually do expect to see gold back down at these lows. Gold right now is trading at a trend line here on the 4H, so do watch out for that. Probably not a good idea to look for short straight away because you can see a test there, multiple tests across here, and we're coming in for another test there. So it'll be great to see if gold can break through this, stay below that trend line, put a double top in it or a retest, and then we can look for those sales to take it back down at those lows. It can maybe take partials around here, it might be a bit close, but partials could look good there um, at that level. This price held that support quite well. So overall looking for sales. Hopefully we can get that break, you know, the retest or double top or something like that. Show prices holding resistance. Then we'll look for, the, look for those sales back down to 1725 and then potentially those new lows, but that will probably come in a few weeks from now. So as long as we stay below this resistance and that trend line, we'll look for a push into 1725. So let me stick um possible trade there on the break and retest of the area maybe come back into retest that resistance there could be nice uh, and then yeah we'll be looking for sales into that if not we'll probably got a breakout and probably just fill the range to the upside uh, of that trend line into around that 17 not 17 18 13 areas so Okay, so last up, we've got Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is still charging off to the upside. It looks like it's almost back at highs. If I just get that horizontal tool out, you can see we're almost at highs there again. So, you know, Bitcoin's recovered very, very nicely. Uh, I do think we'll probably see a bit of retrace because this is quite a big move here. So it might come back down, potentially, you know, retest this area here, that resistance tends to support. We already had the retest, so we don't have to, but you know, we can still come back down and retest. This also, you know, generally this area here will be acting as resistance here, a lot of profit taking at these highs. So yeah, we could see a bit of a, a dip to the downside and that could be a nice area to look for some buys or even this resistance here, which did not hold um, this week here. Uh, for Bitcoin could be a nice place for buys as well. Come back here, hold that support, look for continuations. But Bitcoin is still on its way to the upside. I think Bitcoin will be pushing through those highs there um, quite soon-ish and probably at 70K uh, soon-ish as well. So more upside to 70K, I can expect for Bitcoin in the next couple of weeks or so. Probably that um, those highs would be taken out maybe coming into this week to be fair, but looking for a bit of a pullback to the downside. Again, looking for either on the 59K, looking for buys, or if it does pull back to the 53K, look for buys as well. And then yeah, back up to 70K for Bitcoin. Okay guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed that and found that useful. Like always guys, if you have any questions, agree, disagree with my analysis, drop a comment down below. I'll make sure I'll get back to you guys. Also, if you are enjoying the content, you know, feel free to subscribe. It is free. Hit the subscribe button, drop a like, hit the bell as well so you don't miss out on any uploads. But thanks a million guys for watching the video. I hope you all have a great trading week next week. But that is the end of the video guys. Stay safe and I'll catch you guys in the next one.